just sitting down and seeing what I can come up with, it's been really peaceful and calming for me and I hope that it'll be like that for you too when you sit down and have a go. Hi, my name's Emma Leonard and I am a Melbourne-based illustrator. And today I'm going to be helping you make a beautiful butterfly and moth bunting. For this project, you will need some heavyweight paper or card, an assortment of colourful pencils, markers and fine liners. Today I'm using the Bic Intensity range, which has amazing pigment. You'll also need some scissors, a hole punch, some string, a darning needle and some paper fasteners. These are sometimes called brads or split pins. First up, you will need to print your moth and butterfly templates onto the heavyweight card. I've used about a 250 GSM paper, but you can use anything you have handy. Just make sure it's not too thin, otherwise the paper might tear later on when we punch the holes. The next step is the fun part. Decorate an assortment of beautiful moths and butterflies. Now the possibilities are endless, so try to push yourself and make each one different from the next. I like to use a whole different range of markers and pencils, not just one kind. That way I can get different effects in each little area. So sometimes I might use a bit more of a brush pen to get some quick, bold strokes down really fast. And then other times I might be going in to do really careful details. So I might use a super sharp pencil or maybe a fine liner. One of the best parts of this project is that you don't have to worry about staying inside the lines. Now that I've finished coloring in my beautiful designs, it's time to cut them out. To make it a little easier, I separate it out into each one and cut really carefully along those lines of the template. And now that our cutting is complete, it's time to move on to the hole punching and putting the pins in. So just carefully punch holes over the little tiny circles printed on the template. Then we get our split pins or fasteners. Start by layering the pieces in the order that they need to go. So the body at the base, then the lower wing, and then the upper wing. Carefully poke through the fastener, then turn it over and separate the little legs to lock it into place. And then you can kind of position the wings where you would like them to go. And then repeat it on the other side. Now that we have completed our beautiful suite of butterflies, it's time to string them up and turn them into bunting. First, I'm gonna lay them out and decide what order I want them to hang in. I think it's really nice to use a variation in sizes and maybe put your biggest one in the center because it will really draw the eye. Then I will get a nice long piece of string. I've put a darning needle on the end of mine to help it go through the little tiny holes a bit easier. Gently poke through the holes, go in through the front, then pull it through almost to the end have it go through the back and then come back out for the other side. And then we have our completed bunting. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun creating this beautiful bunting with you. If you'd like to design your own, you can visit the Smiling Mind website to download the template. And don't forget to tag us and show us your work.